All right, so you guys know what time it is. This is the pre-show. So let's get our let's get our trumpets ready. You know, I gotta oil my valves. I got my valve oil this time. I'm prepared. <laughs> All right, y'all. So as you come in, say what up, welcome, where you're watching from. I know you're watching from your phone or from your tablet, from your computer. Where where are you sitting now? What area? Not area of the house, but what is your location? I'm uh I'm in uh I'm in Indiana, Illinois, not too far from Chicago. I moved out here. What's up, two can't? from Canada. Welcome. So if you're here, say what up, say where you're from. Let's oil our vows together before we get started. Welcome to the pre-show. Now, as I do this, I promised y'all as a treat for coming early. I appreciate y'all. What's up, BM theme? Hola, I'm in a little, little old Alabama. Welcome from Alabama. Toucan from Canada. Let's oil our vows together. What's up, Rock Wolf from Houston? So as I, I was saying, as a treat for y'all for coming early, I got, I got a special uh, pre-show some knowledge to drop on y'all, some uh, a resource. And so I was, I was taking a look at, well, I was listening to um, an interview by interviewing Bobby Shu, a very renowned trumpet player, jazz trumpet player and trumpet pedagogue, trumpet teacher. And he mentioned that Maynard Ferguson recommended this book to him about breath and our breath is not only vi is not only important for trouble playing but it's just important for everyday life so while i do this and try to oil my valves and talk to you at the same time bobby shu mentioned one of many books that he he has read he has studied and one of those books that maynard ferguson he mentioned that gave to him was this book the hindu yogi science of breath by william walker atkinson aka swami ramachakra that was his i guess his uh his cold name uh, i don't think this was the original cover though so as I said before in the last episode, episode one, um, it's not even that big of a book either. It's a very easy read. And I'm going to share with you the, the, the chapter that really, that really got my mind. I, like I'm in a really deep rabbit hole right now. So I'm going to share, share that chapter with you after I finish oiling my third valve. Hopefully you guys are oiling your valves too before we get started. What's up, Asian Zimdigs says, yo, thanks for teaching me my first trumpet notes. Been playing piano seven years, just started trumpet. Excellent. What's up, Olami Daniel from Nigeria. My mom is on the stream. Welcome. Good morning. Good afternoon from wherever you're looking, wherever you're coming from, watching from. There we go. So we got five more minutes before we get the show started. Thank you for being here. Do you guys oil your vows every day? Yes or no in the chat. 
And if so, what valve oil do you, do you use? Hey. If you're coming in, thanks for coming. Thanks for being here. We're oil on our valves right now before we get started. And I'm about to reveal to you the the chapter that that is really changing my life right now from this book called the hindu yogi science of breath by william walker atkinson check it out if you haven't heard of this book cabbage says nah i oil them every week probably <laughs> you should probably maybe oil them every day He says, no, I'm very low on valve oil. And my director said not to use it every day, but every other day. Okay. Everyone has their preferences. But I oil mine every day just to, just, just to clean, the, clean, the, clean the valves off with the oil. There's gunking stuff that's on them. All right, so here's the chapter that I'm talking about. We got four minutes before we start. So it's, this, it's chapter six in this book. Chapter six. And the title of this chapter is Nostril Breathing. Let me turn this music down a little bit. One of the first, the sixth chapter is about nostril breathing versus mouth breathing. Nostril breathing versus mouth breathing. Cab just says, I use blue juice. Nice. Stephen L says, hey, Aaron, thanks for helping me get started with the trumpet. Just learning my fundamentals a few months back when I started trumpet. I appreciate your help, man. Thank you, Stephen, for coming and sharing that with us. And, and I'm so glad I'm able to help you. Help y'all. All right, but this chapter real quick. Mr. William Atkinson says, what's better, nostril breathing or mouth breathing? What's better? In this chapter, this I'm going to read a small small paragraph it says the organs of respiration have their only protective apparatus filter or dust catcher in the nostrils when the breath is taken through the mouth there is nothing from mouth to lungs to strain the air or catch the dust or other foreign matter in the air from mouth to lungs the dirt or impure substance has a clear track and the entire respiratory system is unprotected, you know, when we mouth breathe. And moreover, such incorrect breathing emits cold air to the organs, thereby injuring them. Yikes. Inflammation of the respiratory organs often results from the inhalation of cold air through the mouth. The man who breathes through the mouth at night always awakens with the parched feeling in the mouth and the dryness in the throat. He is violating one of nature's laws and is sowing the seeds of disease. X. So that leaves a very good question in my head. And now I'm, I'm super aware of when I breathe through my mouth or I breathe through my nose. I'm like now super aware of it and conscious of it. And now I can't get away from it. It's like when you when you get in and when you buy a new car, if you ever bought a new car, if if you know somebody that's bought a new car, and now you see that car everywhere. <laughs> you're like, man, this is such a nice car. But now that you're in the car, you see the you see your car everywhere now because you have that awareness. And that even reminds me, I gotta drink some water. So this, this leaves a very, um, very important question for me, and, and I don't know the answer, is 
is breathing through our mouth to play the trumpet healthy for us overall? Or would, would a better title be, is mouth breathing dangerous for trumpet playing? I think that would be a better clickbait type of title. <laughs> but I mean, that that if what he's saying is true, and that makes a lot of sense, you know, we, the nose hairs the in our nose filter the air. So I'm going to leave you guys with that question. I don't know the answer, but I want you guys to kind of join me in this rabbit hole of the benefits of nostril breathing versus mouth breathing. So keep that in mind. Go on YouTube and look up some videos on on that on that uh, subject, I, I've been, and it's very, very enlightening, for sure. So, check out this book. Apparently, Maynard Ferguson recommended this book to a, another great trumpet player, Bobby Shue. And it's just teaching us the benefits of why the breath is so important. And obviously, it's important, but do we actually know how important it is? This book... In a, in a very concise way, not too complicated. It does that. It, it talks about not only the scientific, but the spiritual of this Hindu yogi science of breath. All right. Let's get started. Let's get started with the show. All right, what up, fellow trumpeters? Thank you for watching. You, my name is Aaron, and this is Trumpet on Air, the live trumpet warm-up show, where we not only warm up the trumpet, but we warm up the mind and the body. And so it's very important that we warm up and get ready for all the things and all the aspects that come into play when it comes to trumpet playing. So we need to get focused and and just relax and take some time for ourselves in the morning. For me, it's October 25th. It's approximately or accurately 6.33 a.m. here in Indiana. And if you're here, if you're here either live or on the replay, say what up. Say what up. Tell me where you're from. And let's warm up together, okay? Welcome. We got Kirsty in the building from England. We got Oliver Law. What's up? Oliver Law from Connecticut. Welcome. All right, so... It's Monday, so let's start off our week with a, the, a positive mindset. Let's get ready for the week. Let's get ready for the day. And warm up our mind. So the first thing we're going to do is this thing called a box breath. Box breath. So what we're going to do is... I'm gonna make a, a box with my hand. And shout out to my undergraduate degree. You know, I had some, some conducting classes, so I'm able to keep this nice and steady. But we're going to, as I, as I come up, I'm gonna inhale. As I go over, we're gonna hold that in, inhalation, hold our breath. And then as I come down, we're gonna release that breath. When I come over again from the bottom, we're going to hold that exhalation. And that's going to be our box breath. Now, I'm not an expert in this technique, but I find it very cleansing and very relaxing when I start my day. Okay, we got Chris. Hong Kong, welcome. And Joseph 
from Uruguay. Uruguay, sorry. All right, let's start. Let's start this. So we're gonna inhale for three counts, hold for three counts, exhale for three counts, hold for three counts, like this. So in through the in through the nose and exhale through the mouth. So we're gonna inhale for three, inhale for three, hold for three, exhale for three, hold for three. Okay, so let's do that together. So let's inhale, hold, exhale. Hold. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Relax your shoulders. Hold. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Nice. Now, as we do this, make sure that when you hold, you're not holding in with your chest or holding in your neck. You're just keeping the chest open while you hold this breath. Let's do it one more time or a couple more times. You do it on your own while, while I do it on my own. So you can close your eyes if you want to. You don't have to. But here we go. We're going to inhale, hold, exhale, hold and just repeat that. Do it on your own, here we go. Each breath, relax, let go of any anxiety, anything you're worried about. Take this time for yourself to relax, and clear your mind. this time to be grateful Let's do two more Very good. Excellent. All right. So now, man, I feel great. I feel very relaxed and free and open. I don't know about y'all, but I feel it. I feel very good. Every time I do that, I feel so good. Now, let's feel even better with some, some stretches, right? So what we're going to do is just make sure you're seated, you're seated nice and erect, and and comfortable and balanced because we need that balanced posture for a good sound and relaxation so um shoulders down chest up and you're sitting on your bottom just like what they told us in like kindergarten all right so 
Now, next, let's stretch out the neck. So we're going to do one exercise called, let's do over the shoulder. So you're gonna look over your shoulder, we're gonna stretch uh, our neck. And so we're gonna do that 10 times on each side. So it's gonna be my to my left, which is your right, and then we're gonna do, do the other side for 10, okay? So it's gonna look like this, let me demonstrate it. Like that. So you're gonna try to look over your shoulder, right? Just like that. So let's do that 10 times to my left, your right. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side, ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Let's do one more neck exercise. It's going to be left ear to left shoulder and then right ear to right shoulder. And this is my right and my left. So let's start on my left. We're going to do five of these on each side. It's going to be like this. So watch me first and then we'll do it together. So when we do this, make sure your eyes are straight ahead so you're not looking. So we're going to keep our eyes and nose going straight, looking forward, and we're going to keep our shoulder where it is and try to get our neck to our shoulder, okay? Let's do five of these on my left, your right. Here we go. One, two, actually that's way too fast. <laughs> Let's do it slower. One, two, three, four, five, and six for good measure. So you should feel it on this side. When you do your stretch, let's do the other side. Do five on the other side. My right, right ear to right shoulder. One, Two, three, four, five, six, six for good measure. I'm all into it. The stretch feels so good. I always forget to, that we're only doing five. All right. Nice. We got. And Will Music. Yo, Mr. Washington, tuning in from South Africa. Welcome. Hugh Smith from Toronto. Good wake-up routine. Thank you for being here. All right, so now... Let's do some... Let's do some shoulder stretches. Shoulder circles. So we're going to do like this. I'm going to do five of those to the front and then five to the back. Okay, so let's do that. Let's do shoulder circles like that, shoulder rotations. Okay, so let's do five to the front. Here we go. One, two, three. Four, my last one, 
five. Now to the back. So when we do this, make sure the shoulder blades are touching in the back of your back of your back. <laughs> All right, here we go. Five to the back. One. Two. Three. Four. Last one. Five. Nice. I'm feeling some cracks in my shoulders. That's good. Getting the blood flowing. Shake it out. I'm shaking my arms just to get that blood flowing. All right. So now let's do take your arm, reach it across. You're going to grab your shoulder and pull it back. I'm going to stretch out this part of the shoulder right here. So let's hold hold each arm for 10 seconds. I'm going to count. 10 counts. Here we go. Arm across, hold the shoulder, pull it back. Not too much, but just to get a good stretch. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Switch. Shake it out. Other arm. Grab the grab the elbow and pull back. Feel a nice good stretch. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three two one nice shake it out all right so now let's stretch out our arms and fingers arms fingers and hands so we're gonna stretch stretch out and we're gonna have our hand out just like this and pull back gently not too not too hard just a nice stretch in the forearm, okay? So let's do that for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now let's go down and do the same thing. Keep the arms straight. One, uh, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now the other arm. So this is my left. Keep the fingers up. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now fingers down and pull gently, not too hard. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. Nice. That feels good. You should feel that stretch right in your forearm here. That connects to our fingers. All right. Welcome, Sebash, from East. You say hello, namaste from Nepal. All right. Now, let's stretch out our fingers. If you've never done this before, let's get some blood flowing into our fingers because we want to try to blaze on the trumpet. We can't do that if our fingers are stiff. All right, so we're going to just open and close our fingers just like this. Get a nice stretch. You should feel it in your palm 
Okay, so let's do let's do uh, ten of these, both hands. So we're gonna have them closed like this, and then open them and spread them apart like this. So let's do ten of these. Open. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. Now let's do thumb, thumb to each finger. And we're going to do five on, on each finger. So when we stretch our hand, stretch it back as far as you can, not too much. Do as much as you're able. We're going to do the, the index finger. I have some brain fog right now. We're going to do each finger to the thumb five times each. Here we go. So index finger. One, two, three, four, five. Next finger, middle finger. One, two, three, four, Five. Next finger, ring finger. One, two, three, four, five. Pinky. One, two, three, four, five. Switch hands. Same thing. Thumb to each finger five times each. So index finger. One, two, three, four, five, middle finger, one, two, three, four, five, ring finger, one, two, three, four, five, pinky, one, two, three, four, five, nice. My fingers feel light after doing that. Very good. Now, let's warm up the the armature in the muscles that are that that are connected to this muscle called the orbicularis oris. Okay, so we're just going to do some armature flaps. Let's do maybe let's do ten of those. So it's going to look like this. So what I want you to do is relax the corners. Relax the corners. Don't don't try to form your embouchure and do this. We want the corners to be relaxed. We want to flip, not like flap our lips like we're horses, right? So let's do that. Last one. Now let's hold one side of our face and we're gonna do, we're gonna flap the other side. So I'm holding my right side of my face and I'm gonna flap the other side. Same thing, keep the corners of the arm shirt nice and loose and relaxed. Put your lips together and just blow air in flat. I know this looks funny. <laughs> and hopefully you're doing this by yourself. No one can see you. No one can hear you. However, this, there's a few people that can see me. I, I don't mind. All right. So when you do that, you should feel some, some blood, you know, you know, flowing in, warm up, warming up those muscles in there. All right. Let's do the other side. So let's hold. This is holding my left. And I'm going to flap the other side, the, the right.
Yeah. My face is feeling nice and warm. How about y'all? Is it feeling good? Have you guys done that before? If you have, put a number one in the chat. If you haven't, put a zero in the chat. All right, so now let's get to the trumpet finally. If you've been here, if you if you like, if you like this warm up, if you like this kind of wake up routine, um, like the video, share the video with your friends, and have them join us either here live or here on the replay. Okay, so please like the video and and share the video. If you're here as well. Say what up if you haven't already. Say what up. I want to greet you. I want to meet you. Thank you for being here live with me for those that are here live. All right. So now let's get to the trumpet. Uh, we're going to do some buzzing. Some very light buzzing. So you can either mouthpiece buzz or you can... Take your main tuning slide out and do some lead pipe buzzing. Put in the chat which one you prefer the most. If you prefer mouthpiece buzzing or if you prefer mouthpiece buzzing, lead pipe buzzing, or both. Put that in the chat if you, if you do, if you like mouthpiece buzzing, lead pipe buzzing, or both. Me, I prefer lead pipe buzzing. So let's do that. Do a, a few lead pipe buzzing just hold hold it out. You don't have to match my pitch. All right, a couple buzzes here and there just to get the lips a little bit more warm. Nothing too fancy, nothing too crazy. Just just get the lips vibrating. So we got Hugh Smith. Your favorite is mouthpiece buzzing. We got Sebash saying both. Nice. My lips are feeling nice and warm. Nothing too crazy. Right, nothing too brazy. <laughs> All right, so now let's do some long tones. We got this music going. Let's see what the key is. And we're going to do some long tones to this song or to this music. So let's do it to this song. <laughs> let's figure out figure out the key. Hold on. All right, so let's do it on R C sharp. So if you're not familiar, let's do it on the low C sharp. Yeah, let's do some long tones on this on this beat right here. So I'm going to play, and then you're going to play. And we're just going to switch off back and forth.
my mute my my uh trumpet mic was muted <laughs> oliver thank you for being here have to go have a great day you too all right let's start that again since my mute my mic was muted we live folks we live here we go on c sharp one two and three vowels here we go So the goal for long tones for me is to make sure that the airflow is consistent from start to finish. And I'm making sure that my tone is my tone is straight, no vibrato whatsoever. So if you for me, I like to focus on one thing at a time. So when it comes to long tones, I want to keep the air consistent. From as soon as I in uh, from from my inhale to my exhalation, ex my my exhale, <laughs> and and then keep that straight as much as possible. So there's no vibrato. Wah 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 wah. All right. Let's do that again. Let's see what the next song is, and we're gonna do a different note. All right, here's the next song. We're going to do a different note. Then we're going to go to some uh, flexibility. Some light flexibility. Let's do it on our A. In the staff, one and two, one and two. If you're not able to play that note, then play D, play one and three D below the staff. But let's do A, one and two, some long tones with, with this as the background. Here we go. Now, for me, I think it's important that we do long tones on different notes because each note has its own character and its own uh, resistance. So for me, it's a little bit harder to keep that A in tune and keep it consistent for some reason. And so I'm not going to fight the resistance. I'm just going to try to blow to make sure that that A is nice and clear and clean as much as possible. It's not going to be perfect. So don't think that this has to be perfect just try your best all right so now we did some long tones let's do some let's do some light flexibility then after we do that we're going to do some light articulation all right so with flexibility we want to do this at a consistent tempo 
And the reason why I, I really stress doing flexibility at a metronome or something that, you know, a metronome, because we want, we want the, the switch from the different partials to be as smooth as possible. And how do we get that smooth, uh, smooth transition? Everything needs to happen in time. Everything needs to happen in time. So even when you switch up to that switch up or switch down, everything needs to happen right when you want it. Okay, so let's do that. We're going to do it at an 80 BPM. 80 BPM. So let me turn down the music and put on that metronome. We got musical scope it says, thank you very much. My first time with trumpet from Israel. Welcome. If you're liking this so far, please put a, you know, Please like the video, share the video. And if you're new, if you're new, please say where you're from, say hello. We got 42 people in the building. Please say what up. I'd love to meet you. We got Muhammad from South Africa. Welcome. Let's do some lip slurs or tongue slurs. So let me demonstrate first and then we're going to we're going to switch back and forth so we're going to do that they're going to do that um, and we're going to do that for each finger combination seven out of the eight finger combinations okay Da, da, da. So we're going to do it on open and then just follow me. Right after I play, then you play. We got Horsey Boy. I'm a, a grade five cornet and trumpet player. Welcome, Horsey Boy. So here we go. Repeat after me. Nice. So if that was easy for you, that's great. Now, if it was harder for you to get down to that lower register, I want you to slow down the air and drop the jaw. Say, 
Ah, ooh, ah. That's what I'm doing with my tongue level. Ah, ooh, ah. Also, when I go down to that that lower lower partial, I'm slowing down my air, dropping my jaw, and also a lower tongue level. Okay. We got Tsunamis says hi from Melbourne, Australia. Wish I could follow, but here it's 11 p.m. and the partner is sleeping. All right, no problem. We got we're gonna have the uh, re the replay available after this is over, so don't worry. As soon as you wake up the next day, it'll be available for you, my man. All right, so now we went we went down. Now let's go up. What's up, Frederico from Brazil? I don't know if I caught that before. So now let's go up one, two, and three. I'm gonna start on one, two, and three, and then ascend the the seven positions again, the seven uh fingering positions. So start on one, two, and three. All right, all right, nice. So when I do my warm up, it shouldn't be too stressful or taxing on the lips. It's just to get the stuff, making sure it all works <laughs> to when we practice later, all right? So good, so now let's do some light articulation on just a scale. So to make this a little bit more fun, let's see if I got some on my playlist that we can play to. And then I just want you to repeat after me. Let's use our ears. You don't need music. Let's use our ears. Let's see. All right, so let's go to, let's do this on our B flat major scale. Our B flat major scale. So it has two flats, okay? So we're going to start on B flat. 
we're going to do four pulses on each note. So just repeat after me. I'll call out the note. It'll be okay. Here we go. So we're going to do a light articulation. We'll do a light articulation. Say do, 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 do. So not two, 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 two. Less explosive. Let's change up the consonant sound and turn it to do. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's do that. I'm going to do that on a B flat major scale, starting on B flat. So repeat after me. Very nice, very nice. So just some light articulation, just to get the, the air moving, the tongue moving. All right, so let's do, let's do the entire scale one octave. I know some people gotta go, so please leave if you need to. So, Let's do the entire octave. So we're going to do the B flat major scale, the entire octave. We just did the first, the first uh, five notes of the B flat major scale. Now let's do the entire octave, and then we'll be done. Same thing. Repeat after me, starting on B flat. Let's let's play the the notes a little bit faster this time. So double time. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Here we go.
Makes me want to improvise over that. Nice. Hitting all the <laughs> Hey. Nice start to the morning. You guys, thank you so much for joining me. Make sure you like the video. Share the video, all right? Please, please, please. It helps the algorithm. It helps, helps me get out to more people. It helps the channel. It helps us get more people into the show. So please, if you enjoyed the show, please like the video. Like the video. Share the video. If you enjoyed it, if you did not enjoy it, <laughs> please um, dislike the video as well. Dislike it. Hit that dislike if you did like it. But also hit that like button if you if you liked it, okay? My name is Aaron. This is Trumpin' On Air, the live warm-up show. Sponsored by Online Trumpet Studio, LLC. So if you need a, uh, if you need a private teacher... I have slots available in my studio. So I got some times available. So I'm going to put the the link to that below. If you're looking for a teacher, if you're having trouble playing trumpet, play or if you need some feedback, whatever you need, let me know. I'm going to put the link in the description and in the chat. This has been a very good warm up. I enjoyed it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know. If you didn't, let me know. If you're indifferent, let me know. <laughs> Anything I can do to help improve this show, let me know. Just remember, thank God it's Monday. Thank God we woke up this morning. Let's be grateful. Anything you're worried about, let that go. And look forward. Don't be so hard on yourself. I got to remind myself of that a lot, a lot, a lot. Stop being so hard on myself. Just take, take everything. Take everything not so seriously all the time, you know? Here we go. I'm going to put the link in the chat. If you're having trouble with anything. Please let me know. All right. So this is the end of the show. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for being here. If you have any questions, like Horsey, if you if you're having trouble playing fast, I got some videos. I got 240 videos on the channel. Go ahead and check those out for, for a second. They're all on my channel. You guys have a blessed day. My name is Aaron, and this is Trumpet on Air. Peace.